prepare for Nerdgasm. Hey, what's up Nerdgasm fans? Jerry here, aka Barnacles. Want to do a quick little video for you guys talking about how I do recording of gameplay. A lot of people have asked me how I do it. I've only done it in a few videos so far, but I'm building up to live casting. So I'll kind of go through my setup and show you guys what I got. I'm sure it's different than what a lot of guys are using, but uh, it should give you some ideas. So let's go ahead and start with the audio side of things. Right here I have all my audio equipment. I have an 802 VLZ3 Mackie mixer board, which is right here. Uh, it's, it's way too big and way overpowered for what I need, but uh, <laughs> I still have it anyways. It was just what was available. Um, I have my microphone I use for commentary. This is a, let's see, this is an AT2020 by Audio Technica, I think, or yeah, Audio Technica. And uh, that I actually have plugged into this guy right here, which is an amplifier. So it actually uses a vacuum tube, so it makes your voice sound really rich and it gives a it gives a really cool sound that you don't get with the normal amp that's in the Mackie board. So, and, and it's highly configurable. The other thing I have is my main speaker system that I have is my Logitech Z5500. A lot of you guys I know hate on those, but I, I really like them. And uh, below here I have my optical switch that switches between my Xbox and my computer for 5.1 surround sound through optical. Now, this, this is all just... Uh, stuff that I threw together to get this working, but there's actually a lot more to it for recording, and I'll, I'll try to go over as much of it as I can. Now over on the video side of things, you guys can see right here, I have an HDMI audio switch, or sorry, video switch, and the HDMI switch goes to the center screen of my setup, and it connects the Xbox and the PC to the center screen, and then the PC is only connected to the outside two screens. Now, what I can do is if I turn on the Xbox, I can just tap this, this HDMI switch and you can see the center screen now should come up as Xbox. Come on Xbox, there it is. Well, that's really blown out. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys can see that. And then another cool thing is when I'm in Xbox mode, because it loses the signal through the HDMI switch, now it switches to put my start bar on that screen and then only these two screens are active on the computer, so I don't have this big blind area in the middle. I can still move windows from that screen to that screen, and this one's ignored. And then as soon as I switch back, come on now, you'll see my start, my start bar is now on the center screen, and everything's as it should be. So one other thing I did is I have, it's hard to see in the video. Let's see if I can brighten it up a little bit here for you guys. That guy right there, that is an Elgato Game Capture HD. It's basically an HDMI capture device that's just a pass-through. You basically just run an HDMI cable through it, and uh, it captures the audio and the video from HDMI. But in my case, I want to copy, I want to get the audio as analog, so I actually have some other cables that are hidden back there that break it off and bring it into the mixer board as an input. So now, let me try to say this without getting too confused here. Basically, the video goes from the Xbox and the PC into the HDMI switch. Then it exits out of the HDMI switch into another electronic device you can't see because it's hidden behind the monitor here. It's called an HDMI splitter. That HDMI splitter then splits the video signal. One video signal goes to the middle screen and the other one goes to the Elgato. The reason why I did this is I tried using the Elgato in pass-through mode with the computer, but it kept screwing with the display. It was changing the Frequency, it just it didn't look right. So by using the splitter, now I got a direct signal going to the monitor and it works wonderfully and I can capture without any problems. I'll try to post all these items down in the description so you guys can find them. Now, the audio is the big tricky guy right here. So what I have right now is the PC comes out and into the mixer board and then from the mixer board it goes to the speakers. Well, I also have a feed coming from the Xbox into the L into the Elgato, then out of the Elgato into the mixer board also. So I can use these knobs right here. I can use this guy and I can use this guy to mix my PC audio and my Xbox audio in real time. So I can have the PC and Xbox audio both coming out at different volumes from the same speakers. Now, when I'm playing by myself and I'm not recording, I want 5.1 surround sound. So then I can turn on this, this switch and I can flip it between one and two and that'll send an optical signal, which I can then switch to that and then I've got 5.1 surround sound with my speakers that are up in the corner of the room here. 
Whoa, that was really blown out. There you guys go. So, the mixer board being the key. Now, if I want to mix in audio from the microphone right here, I can turn on the microphone and I can enable phantom power and then it'll mix the microphone into the audio feed and send it to the Elgato. So now I can talk through the microphone and hear myself through the headset mixed with the audio from the Xbox and the PC all in real time and I can tweak it and adjust it to get it just right. Now, the problem that I have right now that I'm trying to solve is I have my MMX 300 headset right here. And when I plug it into the Mackie mixer board or the headphone amplifier, I don't get any sound. Well, I found out that PC headsets are quite a bit different. The microphones that they use on PC headsets are powered by sound cards. They take like 1.5 volts or something like that to 9 volts. And uh, so they're not compatible. So what I did, and I don't know if this is going to work yet. I'll do a follow-up video once I, once I do some actual recording. Uh... I, I'm going to take a Y splitter cable and I'm going to run it off the headphones into the Astro mix amp, which I'm sorry I don't have right here. I left it at work today. And then the mix amp, I'm going to have that mix amp power the microphone, then Y the cable off, and then go into the mixer. So the mixer will then have an amplified signal that it can mix in. Then I should be able to wear my headphones, record my voice, the Xbox, the Xbox Live voice, and any music that I even want to play in the background for my PC all mixed in together with this mixer board, all sent to this Elgato capture card, and then I can capture all in one giant video, which, which will be really nice. Um, I can also have multiple microphones hooked up. So I can have this one hooked up, and I can also plug in my other microphone right here. So let me pull my headset out here. This guy right here is my headphones. So if I want to listen to my headphones, I just plug them in right there. And then I got a sep separate audio control for my headphones right where is it right here that i can control so now i can turn down the main audio feed and then i've just got audio coming through my headphones i can then talk into this microphone if i want really good quality audio or the onboard microphone and mix it all together so i hope this isn't incredibly confusing i don't have a lot of time tonight so this video is a little bit rushed i apologize uh but that pretty much goes over the setup of how it's all connected so the elgato now we come over here to where it's brought all together. So once everything goes through the mixer board for the audio and is sent to Elgato and the HDMI switch routes the video that I want to record from the center screen only, then I come over to this guy right here. And this is my other computer. Well, my other computer has the capture software and as you can see right now, the middle screen has a screensaver and I'm capturing it right now in real time on this screen. So if I come over here and I stop the screensaver and come over here, you can see that it's recording what's on the center screen. So now all I have to do is come down here, push one little red button down here in the corner, and now I'm recording. I'm recording the audio from the microphone, from the PC, from the Xbox 360, if it's on and playing, and it all comes together right here in one video file that I can edit. Well guys, there you have it. There's a quick and dirty overview of how my setup works for both audio and video capture and gaming. Um, I've watched a lot of videos. There's a lot of different ways to do it and there's a lot more inexpensive ways to do it. The reason I went this route with the mixer board was I wanted to be able to bring in as many inputs as I wanted. I wanted to be able to mix the audio from different microphones. So if I have somebody else in the room and we both want to do like a dual com commentary, um, I also wanted to be able to record when I'm playing on Xbox and I have other players talking in game. I also want to be able to record the audio feed from TeamSpeak on the PC. So I might have friends playing Xbox and they're in a TeamSpeak server and I, I just wanted to have basically the ability to mix any audio stream from the PC, from any of the microphones, from the Xbox all together and synchronized with the video. Because when you capture video, there is a delay. And if you don't capture the audio stream at the Elgato um, and you capture it separately like using Audacity or a separate program, you then have to synchronize that audio. So you have to find the visual and audio cues to basically synchronize the audio track to the video. It's not impossible. I've done it on quite a few of my videos, but it is inconvenient and it's hard to get perfect. So this is just a better way, in my opinion, to just get a video that comes right out, takes minimal editing, and is ready to publish. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them best I can. I'll list the information for finding the Elgato game capture, the HDMI splitter, the HDMI switch, the mixer board. All of this stuff I'll try to get in the description. If I miss something, just let me know. And uh, if you guys have done similar setups, please take the opportunity in the comments to, uh, well, I know you can't post physical links, but you know, .com links. Just post some kind of link or some kind of reference to your channel. 
And uh, I'd love to come check out your setups and see how well they're working for recording audio on Xbox Live and on PC gaming. So guys, I hope this gave you a nerdgasm, and until next time.